Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be looking at a few different state management tools within React and we're just going to be comparing them side by side to see the differences in terms of kind of uh, syntax and implementation. Um, if you enjoy these kind of videos, uh, please consider subscribing and let's get right into it. Cool, so what we have here is a very basic movies app and the idea is that we like or dislike some of the movies um, and that's going to update the, the total likes at the top and the, the top movie is going to be displayed at the um, top left so if I go all the way up here pretty simple stuff um, but yeah there's an application that goes behind this which we'll go over in a minute and just the idea here is there's a few de derived states uh, in the top left and top right and in here all these kind of movie cards are their own individual components uh, and the idea is can we get a state management tool to help us um, yeah essentially manage the, the state within the app and can we get it to a point where if we like or dislike one of these movies, it doesn't kind of trigger a re-render across everywhere else. So uh, from a performance perspective, it's okay. And yeah, we're gonna do the exact same thing with a few different state management tools and see how they look. So I've already done this in a previous video, which um, I've linked using kind of Recall and Redux. So this video kind of mainly focused on looking at uh, Zustan and Jotai, but I'll, I'll put them side by side with uh, Recall and Redux to, to kind of see the implementation difference. And um, we're not really going to go into which one is the best or which one to use because I think that's a whole kind of separate topic. And you know, if you need one, if you need a state management tool at all, but yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of have a look at the two side by side and see the, the differences. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description of the GitHub repository. And the main thing here is what I've done is I've added two commits. The first one is just the, the plain app with no state management, and the second one will will basically add uh, or implement the the uh, functionality using you know Jotai or Zustan, so you can just go in and look at the file and just see what's you know what's changed. So you've added you know that is etc. And yeah, let's get right into it. So uh, I'll close this and I'll actually also close the app because we won't use that anymore. So what we have here is the application four times, um, and I've kind of split it across uh, two different sides so we can kind of compare uh, and contrast the, the two different approaches. So first up, we have Jotai and Recall. So they're quite similar. Um, they, they keep the state within the, the, the component tree. They both work on Atom. So I thought we could uh, have a look at them too. And then we'll do the, the other two. So on the left here, we have uh, Jotai. Um, and you can see we've, we've got the movies list uh, at the top, which is basically find all the movies. And then we just basically have a bunch of uh, Atom calls um, to define the, the, the state. So this is the entire movie state. And then basically a couple of derived uh, states or derived data. So these are kind of similar to the selectors in uh, Recall. Now these two are essentially, the, the entire solution is essentially identical. The only difference is really this top part of the way you define the atoms. So you can see on the right hand side uh, in Recall, we have um, the atom where we, you know, we pass in the key as well as the, the actual piece of state. And then we have a slightly different API for the selectors, still passing a, a key. Uh, and this time we have a, you know, a property and a, and a function um, for these two selectors, but other than that, they're, they're pretty much identical. So maybe the, the Jotai one's a bit, a bit less, less to it. Um, so we wrap both apps in uh, some sort of provider. So that's similar. And then when we actually go to using the the atoms, um, Jotai, I think they're kind of focusing on minimal API surface. Um, so again, everything is an atom. So we just use atom. And in this case, these are kind of read-only atoms. Um, because of the, the signature up top. So they only kind of bring back that an array of one item. Uh, whereas recall's got, kind of got this uh, use recall value, which brings back the value. Um, and at the bottom here on the left, and if I scroll to the bottom of the right, uh, we can see, uh, where is it? Here we go. We can see that uh, we can use, yeah, use atom for movies and set movies. And here we can use, use recall state uh, instead of use recall value. So pretty much identical. The rest of the app you can see you can have a, a, a kind of a dig through yourself it's all you know it's, it's all very similar and to avoid all the, the re-renders we have a couple of use callbacks around the like and dislike function and then we wrap the movies component in uh, memo so um pretty much exactly the same now the only thing i'd like to point out with with recall is there was there is a different approach in here which is the one i did in the, the first video which kind of has let's zoom in a bit here um if i scroll up to the top so Instead of having the entire movies list in an atom, what, what we have here is a function which returns an atom with a specific movie. So we're kind of um, we're creating this atom in runtime. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see that the movie component 
here um, just takes an ID and what we do is we, we use the recall state and this time we pass in the function so basically recall allows us to kind of create uh, and query atoms at runtime I'm not sure if that's easily doable in Jota. I'm sure someone will let me know if it is um, but yeah I think this isn't kind of the most common pattern you'll see but it's maybe something that will help when you have kind of a very very large scale or kind of performance issues so um, yeah the, the the standard Apple recall one is, is probably the the, the de facto way of, of doing it so yeah that's that's them two you know very similar um let's have a look at Zustand and Redux now these two kind of both again similar in terms of the mental model where they both have stores um that you that you kind of can use um so Zustand has you've got one store here and uh, I've just wrapped this round in an Immer proxy just to kind of mimic the uh the functionality you get by default in Redux uh, Toolkit, uh, just to give you that kind of nice API with the with the when you're mutating state. So I've got essentially everything in the store here on the left, which is which is quite nice. So even the, the selectors here are just functions which which tap into the store. It's all defined in in one place here. Um, with Redux, what you have is with this, with this Toolkit, anyways, you have the slice, which you get the, the reducers and the actions, um, and then you have these kind of you know you map your state uh, and dispatch the props. Uh, you configure this store so it's slightly more verbose, um, and then you pass your store into the provider. Um, so that's not you're, you're not wrapping anything around in a provider. Again, it's, it's kind of a, a store sitting outside. Then, um, yeah, difference in actually using uh, the state. So with Redux, uh, if you remember, we're, we're wrapping everything in this connect function where we pass in um, uh, these kind of selector style functions where we're mapping this state and dispatch the props. And then that injects it as a, as a prop into your component. That's what we see there. Um, and with Zustand, we're just using standard hooks. So we have this use store hook, and this is again takes uh, you get state, um, and then you can return anything you like. In this case, we're just you know we're calling the the selector functions which which we've defined in the store. Um, yeah, and the rest of it is is pretty similar. Uh, again, the difference just being instead of this kind of connect. Uh, props pattern here in Redux. We have the um, the use store in uh, Zustand, and the Redux uh, connect method gives you kind of the memorization off the bat, so you don't need to do anything additional to to stop any uh, re-renders. With the Zustand, we we do exactly the same as we did with the with the Jotai and kind of context etc., where you wrap the movie component in uh, memo and you can either wrap the selector or the, the functions and use callback or with Zustand if you if you um, define this selector outside of the component um, and outside of kind of that, that rendering lifecycle then it's going to be it's, it has the same effect as calling use callback so um, yeah that's that's pretty much it I thought it'd be interesting to, to have a quick look at that I'll leave a link uh, to the github uh, repository below so feel free to have a play they all you know they all do the same thing uh, and it's all controlled in the index.js, so you can just basically comment um, comment out which which file you want to play around with. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a good day.